Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of How to Calculate Molality Problems, your favorite ser uh, television series, or at least a series of uh, videos, YouTube videos, um, given by Mr. Angulo. Um, Alright, so I figured we'd go ahead and give a problem here. Uh, this is the second molality problem uh, video that I put up. I put the first one up where how to calculate a molality. Now this one we're going to put molalities to use. What are they useful for? And so in this problem right here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calculating a molar mass. Um, now molar mass remember, has to do with like, you know, uh, figuring out how many grams there are in one mole of a substance. Um, and so, you know, earlier in the year you try to figure out what a molecular formula was when from an, and we had to convert it from an empirical formula. And we were trying to figure out what the molecular formula was. We needed the molecular mass of the substance. Um, if we didn't know the molecular formula, how are we going, supposed to get the molecular mass? Because remember, the molecular mass is just summing up the atomic masses of all the atoms. But if we don't know the formula, how do we know the molecular mass? Well, there are other ways of calculating out in here. We're going to go ahead and uh, do that. <clears throat> so, in order to get molar mass, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and write this out right here. In order to get molar mass, really remember the units for molar mass are equal to grams per mole. Grams per mole. So, if you have a sample, you have a chunk of something, and you know how many grams that weighs, and that's pretty easy to do, right? Um, you just put it on the balance, uh, and then you also figure out how many moles that is. Now, uh, moles are kind of harder to figure that out. So for this little chunk of whatever this is here, we'll call it chunk X. Um, if we want to figure out the molar mass, we've got to know the grams and we've got to know the moles. Then we can take the grams and divide it by moles, and that'll get you your grams per mole. Right? So your, uh, if you get grams and you get moles, you can take grams, divide by moles, and that'll give you your molar mass in the units of grams per mole. Alright, so we'll end up with uh, molar mass over here. And that's pretty much what we're going to do here. Um, <clears throat> and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let's read the problem here. It says 15 grams of an unknown substance dissolved in 300 grams of H2O gives a solution with a molality of 0 0.770 molal, right? So here's that uh, molality, right? 0 0.770 molal. So you're given 300 grams of H2O uh, and 15 grams of there. The unknown substance, that's your solute. 300 grams of H2O is the solvent. What is the molar mass of the substance? Here it tells us, hint. First, find a number of moles of solute in the solution. Right? Because we already have the grams, uh, we can, if we can figure out the moles, there's your molar mass. Really what we're looking for here is, is moles. And so um, what we want to do is be able to go ahead and solve that. Um, then you might ask, well, where do we get this 0 0.770 molality? In the next chapter section, at least in the next section of this chapter, um, we're going to find out how you can calculate molalities. Um, you know, there's several ways, and without knowing how many grams and how many moles, uh, how many grams and how many uh, moles or kilograms of solvent, you can just uh, measure out uh, molalities uh, directly. Okay, so let me go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff right here. Um, Let's go ahead and get started over here. The first thing we need then is to calculate the moles of solute. And remember that your equation is molality is equal to the moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. All right. And you have molality. You're given uh, the molality of 0.770 molal. You, you have grams of water. We can convert grams to kilograms. So if you have these two unknowns, we can then go ahead and solve for what we're looking for, the moles of solute. So let's go ahead and plug those in and uh, solve away 
Um, I'm going to move this up over here, give us some space down here. Let me go ahead and get rid of that a little bit. So I plugged in some numbers in. The molality was, and I just moved the, the numbers, but um, the numbers over there, it was 0.77. Uh, let me try that 7 again. Still not used to this whole touchpad. Zero moles. And I'm going to put them as moles per kilogram. Instead of putting mol molal, I'll put as moles per kilogram. And you'll see why in just a little bit. It's going to equal to the moles of solid. I'm just going to put N. Um, and divided by the kilograms of solvent. Now, uh, if we go ahead and look back up over here, our kilograms of solvent was 300 grams of water right there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn that 300 grams of water into kilograms and that would make it, um, give it a pen here, 0 0.300 kilograms. Right. Turn grams to kilograms, divide by a thousand. So we have this. Now let's go ahead and um, solve for n. And I'm going to move this over a little bit so we can solve for it. That's the nice thing about having this thing here is I can move them back and forth. And so in order to get n by itself, all I have to do is get rid of the 0 0.30 kilograms on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply by 0 0.30 kilograms on the right side to cancel these out. When I do, I multiply by the same 0 0.300 kilograms on the left and now I can go ahead and multiply these guys together n stays the same on the right n uh, n stays by itself so we've solved for n that's going to be equal to 0 0.3 times 0 0.770 so if I go ahead and do the calculation 0 0.3 times 0 0.770 that's going to give me 0.231. So the number that I get is 0.231. And you will notice that the kilograms here cancel with the kilograms in the units for the molality. See why I put moles per kilogram instead of just uh, the lowercase m for molality? Because within that, now these kilograms here cancel out with these kilograms here. So by putting uh, my molality in terms of moles per kilogram, I am able to go ahead and uh, cancel out kilograms, and it leaves me with an answer of moles. So whenever you're searching for N or kilograms of solvent, you want to put your molality in moles per kilogram, like I, sh I did over here, because then the units will go ahead and cancel out and leave you with the correct units. Now I've got my 0 0.231 moles. That was the hard part of this whole problem right there, 0.231 moles. Now that I have my moles, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and bring our problem back down here. Let's see. So let's go ahead. And... There we go. Take that. And I'm going to bring the question down so that we can go ahead and finish up the problem. If I would pay for the paid version, I'm sure this would be easier, but hey, it'll work. All right, so now that we have that. So once again, we've got 15 grams of an unknown substance. Um, what do we want? We want to find the molar mass. And we said that the molar mass was... just grams divided by moles, right? So grams uh, this kind of gets a little crazy on me when I touch the wrong button. Divided by moles. So we were given 15.0 grams. That was right here, right from the beginning. And then we have to find out how many moles. And right here is where we have the moles. So we're going to go ahead and put that down. 0.231 moles. 
basically that 15 grams had 0.231 moles in it, or I guess you can say the 0.231 moles weighed 15 grams. So if I go ahead and take 15, I'm going to move this up a little bit more. Let me see that. Divided by 0.231, plug that into your calculator, and that's going to give you and that the answer of 64.9. Okay. So, 64.9 grams per mole. And there is your answer. Okay, so um, <clears throat> that's how you solved this problem. Okay. And uh, just to go back to uh, figure out you know, what we're doing here, we're using our molality equation um, in order to figure out how many moles. Because uh, once again, the molar mass over here, and show the molar mass. The molar mass here was right here was trying to uh, we're trying to get the molar mass it was in grams divided by moles so we had to get the grams divided by, by moles and so we had grams we didn't have moles um, so we had to figure out the number of moles we used our molality equation to figure out the moles here's your molality equation because we had kilograms of solvent, we had uh, molality, so we can figure out moles. Then once we did the calculations, plugged it in, we were able to come up with a number of moles, and that's that circled number right there, 2.31. Uh, then once we had the moles, we can divide that, uh, we can take the grams and divide it by that number. And that was what we did way down here. And this calculation right here allowed us to calculate our molar mass, which was in grams per mole. Okay, so hopefully that was clear to you. Um, and it was not only solving for another variable in this molality equation, but it was also putting it to use to come up with something else, a molar mass, which we'd never connected, you know, any concentration units to molar mass. Now we've got a way of calculating molar mass using one of the concentration um, one of the concentration quantities, molality. Okay. All right, um, that's it for today. Uh, until next time, um, I hope this helps you out. Have a good day.